the king has risen, and in his reign the kingdoms of human and elf are united. The relic which threatened to destroy all was cast out to sea, seemingly forgotten. But now a new foe has awakened, the relic reclaimed, and what was once a powerful union lies fractured throughout the lands. Alright, who put the stick of truth in the toilet? That is not funny, this is a holy relic! That was barely even an RPG, Cal. The combat sucked. We're going to do it bigger, and we will settle for nothing less than a 9-5 on GameSpot. A dark sorcerer has emerged. Who is it? Tell us, great mage of Xantros. Oh, man, I have no idea what's going on right now. We're under attack, and the new kid is stuck in a dream level. No, no dream levels. This game has to be sweet, lad. Show yourself, villain. Ha-ha! <laughs> Your superpowers are no match for me, Coonin friends. Tune in, friends. Ah, oh, shit, we got the wrong game. Everybody switch games, we're playing superheroes now. Coon Fritz, go! Ah! We're not playing games anymore, ma'am. This time, it's serious. South Park, the fractured butthole. <laughs> now available for pre-order. Yeah, <laughs> everyone pre-order, that's a good idea. Shut up, buttered! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome two of my favorite human beings in the entire world, Matt Stone and Shrey Parker. How are you guys doing? Hi. First of all, I'd just like to say that these mics are fucking dumb. <laughs> and I feel like an idiot wearing it. Don't act like you don't wear those during sex every look single night, my friend. Look at this. Look at you. You guys look great. Come on. Thank you. You, you look, look like you're going to take my order. I want french fries. <laughs> Super size it. Uh, yeah. First of all, the trailer for the game looks amazing. Are you guys excited about it? Yeah. It's weird because you don't seem like you are. Yeah. And oh, also, great. I it's feel just like these mics. That, it's the know. mics that are just. Yeah, the mics are throwing us, but okay. Yeah. We don't know what to do with our hands. <laughs> Pockets <laughs> or inside your pants. Right. Uh, I read that you guys, after the last game, uh, said that you were never, ever, ever going to make another video game again. That's true. And, um, <laughs> but, uh, the, the, big, the big thing is we're kind of whiny babies, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> we, we just realized that at the end, right at the end of Stick of Truth, we mm -hmm. kind of learned how to make video games, <laughs> and it was kind of too late, yeah. and we were like, well, fuck, now we know how to make a good video game, yeah. so we have a good template to do it, and we thought, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. do it again. Yeah, we might regret it, but we're doing it again. Yeah. Look, I want to say, <laughs> knowing you two, uh, I don't think a fear of regret has ever kept you from doing anything. No. I think you have, that has to be a f you've we've done. Had, some we've had some regrets. Yeah, yeah I'm saying just regrets, power yeah. through it. Now, um, you, who are you working with on this game? Uh, we're working with U Ubisoft San Francisco, and um, it's yeah. basically, yeah, obviously, everyone find the crowd for that. Um, <laughs> it's a, you know, it's the next chapter. It, it continues the story of Stick of Truth, where you're the new kid, and you're, in, you know, you now have moved to South Park, but now the kids are playing obviously superheroes, mm -hmm. and so we get really into your backstory as the new kid of what. Like any superhero adventure, like we get into your backstory of why your butthole is so amazing, basically. Yeah. We get deep into that God, butthole we're story. We're going to get deep into your butthole. Yeah, in this deep game. into your butthole on this one. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, sweeter, <laughs> more kind words have never been spoken. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the oh, legends of South Park, Trey Parker, Matt Stone. Thank you. Wear those microphones home. I love you. Bye. Give it up, Trey and Matt. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ubisoft's E3 215, that's not a year, 2015 press conference. Uh, 215, we'd have no technology, we'd all be incredibly miserable, staring into our hands, waiting for somebody to tweet us back. I am so insanely happy to be here today. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this is a super special time of year because I love games and I think it's the rare time of year that journalists, developers, gamers, and fans of the industry get to come together in one place and collectively lose our shit. 
So I am so, so happy to be here. On behalf of the UV team, I want to welcome everybody here to the historic Orpheum Theater in LA, as well as all the gamers, fans, and journalists tuned in online from all over the world. And we have got a very special welcome here for some of our most dedicated fans, Ubisoft star players who are here from around the globe. Please stand and wave. Take your moment in the sun. You guys look amazing. Some of you look more amazing than others. I bet the rest of you wish you had more than just a fucking t-shirt, but that's okay, we'll talk about it later. Cosplaying like a boss, like a boss. All right, sit down. Few industries have consumers as passionate and personally invested as the gaming industry. One day, you're on a message board calling for the abrupt, non-consensual removal of a CEO's reproductive organ on a message board, and the next thing you know, you've got a Far Cry logo tattooed on your face. And let's be honest, I think we all know this has been a very intense year for Ubisoft, and there's been no shortage of, shall we call it, constructive feedback, or online teabagging, whatever you want to call it. But I can say, personally, that after working for these guys for four years, the Ubisoft teams listen and they take what you think very, very seriously. We believe here that passionate and honest feedback makes games better. Even if you have to dig through ear-burning NSW, NSW, NSFW, NSFW, guys, that's a word, Reddit thread to get it. You know what I'm talking about. The UB team has a single driving passion. They love games and they want to make kick-ass games that you want to play. And to that end, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the guy with all the surprises, Ubisoft CEO, Yves Guimau. How are you? How are you? Welcome. It's good to have you back, actually. I, you know, we were in rehearsal. You know how excited I am about this press conference. You guys are going to lose it. This is going to be awesome. Enjoy. Okay, thank you. I love gaming, and I love the people that create the games. But I also love a lot the people that play those games. So it's a... Uh, At Ubisoft, we do take risks. It has been part of our DNA from day one. And we will continue to take risks to amaze gamers and create the games of tomorrow. And today, I have a surprise for you, as we said. And this surprise is a new IP in a new genre. And this game couldn't wait till the end of the show. So enjoy it now.
inside yourselves, huh? Do you see a knight? A Viking? Samurai, perhaps, huh? When your enemies are arriving at the gate and sword is coming at your head, would you turn and run? Would you stand and fight? <laughs> My name is Jason Vandenberg, creative director. For Honor offers you the opportunity to experience the adrenaline and the danger of a melee combat in a visceral battlefield through a new type of gameplay that we call the art of battle. You will feel the weight of the weapon in your hand, the crash as you block the attack, and the impact when you strike the winning blow. But bring your friends with you. Because while a single individual can win a fight, it takes a band of warriors to win a battle. And when I say a band of warriors, <laughs> I mean two teams of four warriors in a live multiplayer demonstration on console right now. Thank you very much. So, that was just a tease of our current build. It's a taste of what For Honor has in store for you. But I know what you're thinking. I mean, that looks pretty cool, Vandenberg. But when can we play it? How about noon tomorrow at the Ubisoft booth with a 100% hands-on 4v4 multiplayer demo on console? Thank you very much. And for those of you watching at home, go register at ForHonorGame.com to get more info and get a chance to be among the very first to play the game. Thank you very much, and have a great E3. Nice! <laughs> that was awesome. Guys, give it up for Jason Vandenberg. Let him hear it. Woo.
for Honor Gaming Team. Oh, I'm walked to the gym. Now, I just want to say, uh, I, that was super juicy. I really love that last beheading. These next two games are already fan favorites. And in response to the feedback from Ubisoft's incredibly engaged communities, the teams have created some incredibly cool expansion packs. Since the crew's release last year, millions of players have spent over 20 million hours free riding all across the United States. That's more than 3,000 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon, which, by the way, you cannot drive. The Crew Wild Run expansion pack introduces new larger-than-life vehicles and gives you the chance to compete in ongoing championships called summits all over the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Yes, I just get excited. I want to run all over the stage. Uh, now, if you think that was awesome, this next thing is incredible. I saw this next trailer in rehearsal, and I just, there are absolutely no words to describe it, so just, just check it out. just a tiny taste of the Trials Fusion awesome Level Max expansion pack that's coming out on the 14th of July on Xbox One, PS4, and for the PC. And for any Trials Fusion fan, it's the business. And if you are even a tiny bit still on the fence about this, uh, dude, you're a cat riding a fire-breathing unicorn. <laughs> what are you, a robot? <laughs> now, my friends, we're going to make a hard right turn from kitties and unicorns to a virus-ridden urban hellscape. Yeah. Yes. We have having the same feel at this exact same time. Prepare your bodies for one of UB's most highly anticipated games to date. It's time for The Division. Please welcome to the stage Ryan Barner, game director on The Division. Give it up for Ryan. Bernard. Say your last name right, Bernard. Hi, Hi Bernard. Aisha. Hi, it's oh. good to see you. Is my mic working? All right, it's good yeah, to see you. Yes, it's good to see welcome. You. All right, hello everyone. Uh, so as probably most of you know from judging from the response out here, uh, The Division is an online open world action RPG. But at its core, it's a cooperative experience. But today, we're here to introduce you to The Dark Zone, a walled off, quarantined, highly contaminated area all through the middle of Manhattan. And it's here where, as a player, you have the choice whether to work alongside other agents or turn against them. In the Dark Zone, we want you to experience the tension and the fear and the paranoia of playing in a place where absolutely anything can happen at any time. Mm -hmm. and a place where you can trust no one. Yeah, like Hollywood. Exactly, by Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So here's a glimpse of what could happen to you in the dark zone.
Alright guys, you ready? Dark sound? Yep. I just got a mask upgrade. I want to try it out in there. And get us some good loot. Sweet. Let's do it. Remember, when we get in there, it might not be just us. I feel about this game. I, I loved it. 
even when the even when the build wasn't finished. Yes, when you but, weren't supposed to play. Yeah, it looks amazing. Uh, huge dick move there at the end. Yeah. But um, I just I want to say I mean this as a compliment. This game is looking like it needs to come with a giant barrel of Xanax. Yeah. Sure, fine. Maybe DLC. <laughs> yeah. Um, when does everybody else get to craft themselves in terror the same way that I did when I played the game last year on the floor? Uh, well, for those of you lucky enough to be with us here at E3, for the first time, the division is hands-on playable at our booth. So hopefully everyone will come by and play. We're excited about that. Awesome. Uh, and also, for those of you at home who are clamoring to get your hands on the game early, we're happy to announce that we're going to be having betas on uh, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC starting early next year. So everyone will get to play. It's going to be super exciting. Now, oh wait, and, and please check that out to be able to figure out, uh, get more information about the betas. Sweet. Now, now that we know they're moving into beta, when is the game actually going to be available to everybody out there to play, buy, and put into their home box holes? Yes. Uh, today, we're super happy to announce that Tom Clancy's The Division will be released on March 8th, 2016, on all platforms simultaneously. Yay! 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 <laughs> and we're going right. to give it up. So thank you very much, everyone, and have a great E3. Ryan Bernard, everybody. I'm here. I just, uh, I, I did get to play this game. It's tactical, it's terrifying, it's obviously incredibly cool, so I can't wait for you guys to check it out on the floor. Now, next up this afternoon is the newest release of the critically acclaimed City Builder from Ubisoft's Blue Byte Studio. So everybody, pack up your astronaut diapers because we are departing this planet. Obviously, the moon is awesome, but you don't actually get to start on the moon. You have to earn your lunar landing. So the following gameplay sequence shows how you can make your own giant leap for mankind. And if you want to test out the game, stay tuned for the beta, which starts later this year.
So we've had samurai, we've had fire-breathing unicorns, tally, spaceships, virus-ridden dark zones. This has been a pretty meme-friendly show. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. You're actually sitting here and you are your own human life-size meme. Tell me who you are. Well, I'm Rick from RBF Productions and L, and uh, Ubisoft requested me here as Jacob Fry. Jacob Fry from AC Syndicate. That's right. That's you look insanely hot. That sh I, but a guy from your era probably has rickets or something I can catch, but you look amazing. <laughs> we should come up with a meme really quickly for this show. Right now I'm pitching who kept the Christmas lights on during the apocalypse, but there's gotta be, and just Captain Picard like screaming that out. Do you have a meme you wanna, you wanna pitch? Uh, Guys with rickets are super hot? Well, if you're talking Picard, it will be engage. Okay, good. We, we did that together. All right. Uh, Standing next to me right now, my friends, is Jason Altman, the executive producer of our next game, looking just as foxy as Jacob Fry, with Almost. fewer rickets. <laughs> um, with 110 million players, a billion songs danced, and more than a billion lifetime views on YouTube, this game franchise is one of the pillars of the Ubisoft family. Right? It's time for Just Dance 2016. It is indeed. <laughs> Thanks, I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave it to you. It's the fans that have made Just Dance the success that it is. And because of them, I'm really proud to say that Just Dance has become the biggest music video game franchise of all time. I gave him his spotlight. So, now that we're into this, tell me what's happened since last year, because this has been amazing. We're back with Just Dance 2016 on all motion platforms. And I got a little bit of news. Ooh. You don't need a camera connected to your console to play the game anymore. You'll be able to use your smartphone as a controller to play Just Dance 2016. If you have a camera-enabled console, you're good. You're great. But we know many of you don't. And we're excited to be opening up the game to all console owners, regardless of their setup. And they're going to have a lot to look forward to. An awesome track list of huge hits, new features, and like always, a few surprises. Like this one. What?
Huge congratulations because your album Everything Is For and the single Want to Want Me just hit number one on the top 40 radio charts this morning. So number Thanks. one. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And uh, it was amazing seeing you up there. You know, I, I had to stay at my seat. You know what? I, 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 you know, I, I'm so glad this song is number one this mm -hmm. week and everything, but I, the only thing is I, I just wish you came up here and danced oh, with us. Lord. You know what I'm saying? It was. I just, sadly, Jason, I am living stumbling proof that not all of our people can dance. That's just, you know there's got to be it. one. I missed that meeting. But I want to I wanna get into it because I actually heard that you're actually a big fan of Just Dance. I am. Huge fan. Uh, you know, I, I love the idea that, you know, music can inspire people. But I feel like this, this video game is, is such a part of pop culture. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it allows... You know, the, the, the young ones like my little niece who loves to play the game. And, you know, older folks like my mom who necess doesn't necessarily know how to dance, but it makes her feel like, you know, she could get it. So it inspires <laughs> everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's really great. Um, and I'm really excited because this, obviously, this song is a huge hit. It's a number one hit. It's going to be in the game. Oh, thank you. People are going to want to buy it. They're going to dance. They're going to be like you. Can't be Jason Derulo, <laughs> but you can be like Jason Derulo. Right um, so thank you so much for coming out today. That My was so pleasure. exciting. So that was a big surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Yeah. Ma, give it up for Jason Derulo, everybody. So Aisha, before I uh, run backstage and try to grab a selfie with Jason Derulo. We are going to fight about that. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I have one more thing to share. Uh, Just Dance 2016 will be available this October on all platforms. The Wii, Xbox 360, PS3. But we have something special for Wii U, Xbox One, and PS4 players. Awesome. We're introducing a streaming service that brings new songs all year long and all the greatest hits of Just Dance straight to your console. It's something the fans have been asking for for a long time. It's called Just Dance Unlimited, and it's the first ever Dance On Demand streaming subscription service. Awesome. Anyone with a copy of Just Dance 2016 on Wii U, Xbox One, or PS4 will be able to subscribe. That's killer. It it's is. so great. That's just new, fresh content all the time. So great. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Everybody bid up for the other Jason, OJ, Jason Altman. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It was my pleasure. I called you here today because we face dire circumstances. Our intelligence has confirmed the existence of a new threat that is unlike any we have seen before. This organization has the ability to carry out attacks anywhere in the world. They are highly lethal and indiscriminate of age, religion, or nationality. The potential for loss of human life and psychological terror is substantial and cannot be ignored. They are the very definition of an unknown quantity. Our only choice of action is to meet force with force. As of this moment, my program is reactivated, and I am handing over command of all global field operations to you. Recruit your operators from among the world's foremost elite. Borders and protocols are irrelevant. We must be the shield that safeguards the civilized world from those who wish to do it harm. No matter how or where our enemies strike, no matter what defense they cower behind, Team Rainbow must stand ready.
Now, if you watched the conference last year, you know that I personally lost my shit when I saw Rainbow Six Siege. I was so excited. I love this franchise. Judging from the audience reaction, I think we're all having the same feeling about this game. It is close quarters combat like you have never experienced before. Everything is destructible. And my friends, once you die, you stay dead. It's explosive, it's bone rattling, it's intense, and it's led by an equally intense but cool-headed woman by the name of Six. You probably recognized her in the cinematic trailer, and now it is my great honor to welcome to the stage the extraordinary Angela Bassett. this game, I love this franchise, Good. but now that you're in it, I don't even know, I got, I just, <laughs> so, <laughs> this is actually the first time that you've been in a video game. My first time, right? yeah. So yeah. tell me a little bit about that, that experience for you. Oh, well, you know, thank you, mm -hmm. Aisha. Yeah, I play the role of Six, and I'm the deputy director of the Rainbow Six Counterterrorism Unit. It has been a great experience so far. And you know, I'm all about playing interesting characters, and this yeah. definitely was the venue for that. Yeah, for that. I, I think, actually, uh, people don't realize how complex video game acting can be. When mm -hmm. I was in Watch Dogs, my character got pancaked by a garbage truck, so I'm just happy to see Aww. that yours is a little bit more layered than my experience. Yeah, Six <laughs> managed to avoid all that, at least to my knowledge. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, well, mostly she just guides the Rainbow Unit, you know, to make sure that the operations has, you know, all of the intel that they need to be able to eliminate threats. Right. You've, you, I mean, as an actress, it's incredible to be here with you because you've, you've played everyone. Uh, Tina Turner, Dr. Betty Shabazz, Rosa Parks, now you're Marie Laveau in American Horror Story. <laughs> In what, in, were there any ways in which doing this work differed from those other experiences for you? Well, I've always gravitated toward characters that, you know, challenge me as an actor. So mm -hmm. in that respect, it wasn't very much different. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of, you know, stuff from a movie set or TV set that was applicable to this. You know, mm -hmm. it's all about character and it's all about story, okay. you know, and I was able to really just take on the character and make it my own. And, and of course, you had the director who was there leading you because you were, you know, there alone. So you right. wanted to make sure that the stakes were heightened and you were exactly where you needed to be. And, you know, for those gamers who are out there who are it, taking, taking command. Yeah, and it's an immersive experience. It's like living through a film. And with you in this film, we get to all play opposite you. So I know it's a dream come true for me. I can't wait to see what you've done with it. Ladies Thank and gentlemen, you. truly one of the great actresses of our time. Please give it up for Angela Bassett. Thank you. Thank you. So Enjoy exciting. the game. Well, just, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank, you <laughs> thank you. Give it up for Angela Bassett, everybody. All right. So, so far we've only been talking about uh, multiplayer, but there is so much more to Siege. And here to tell us more about it, please welcome to the stage Geneviève Forger, the community developer on Rainbow Six Siege. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, Aisha. Hi, everyone. Ever since we announced at E3 last year, the community has been asking about the solo and co-op experiences of our game. Today, we are glad to announce that Derrant is back. It will be playable solo or with up to four friends. In Terror Hunt, our players will be facing the most challenging AI in a Rainbow Six game yet. The terrorists will be able to create a stronghold and lead an assault using destruction in unexpected ways. So let's see it in action. Our team's mission will be to disarm bombs set in a French consulate. We'll be following Team Captain Chris Henry over here throughout this demo. Keep in mind that this is a live demo and anything can happen. We hope you enjoy. Chris, are you ready? Yes, Jen, thank you. Team, are you ready? Yeah, of course. Yep. Good yep. luck Let's do and it. have fun. Hope you enjoy. All right, guys, let's, let's do this. Yep. Yeah. Bruno, go. I want you to start heading to the right-hand side with your team. Yeah, let's stay back for a second. Let's go to the left-hand side here. Yeah, OK. Uh, yeah. Let me see. No, there's nothing on the left. I got the front door barricaded. And it looks like the balcony up top, the two windows are barricaded too. Okay. I said we stick close to Bruno here. Let's move up. Yeah, let's go. Okay, our side is clear. Okay. I see an opening on the top floor through that window in the corner there. 
Okay, yeah, let's head top, guys. Uh, strike him at the east side wall. Let me know if you see anybody inside the window, right? Yeah, okay. Bruno, let's head to the roof real quick, too. All right, let's get it out. Okay, so we have two guys inside. Uh, we could probably take them out quietly. Okay, coming up to the roof now, Bruno. Yes, clear on my side. Are we good? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need a hand here. Does anybody have a silencer on the other side? I have a silencer and I have visual. Come down on go. Anytime. Three, two, one, go. Got him. All right, good job, guys. Nice work. Get okay, inside. Right in. in. Take a look at the back of the room. Make sure it's clear. Yeah, it's clear. Okay, let's see. Him. Let's sit up here for a second, guys. Yep. I want to send my drone out and scout before I move up. You look pretty good behind the first barricade. I don't see too much. There's another barricade on the right here, and I got a lot of nitro cells set up just behind it. I also saw, yeah, I saw a bomber here in the middle of the hallway. Nico, can you send your drone out? Start taking care of the drone, uh, the traps. Yeah, I'll send my shot drone. Okay, careful. Yeah, bomber's right there. Hold on, hold on. So I'm start going back. All right. Okay, you're good, man. He's coming back now. I'm safe? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Go for it. I'm going to start moving up. Keep an eye on the bomber, all right? He's coming back. I'll back up. I have one shield here at the end of the hallway. I got a guy behind the desk. Located a bomb. 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 Located Okay, you guys ready to move up? Yep. Yes, we yep. are. Go. Gab, Nico, myself, we're gonna head down the main hallway. Bruno, Meg, come over here. Okay. Tear down the wall and start coming down the left-hand side. Going in. I'll give you some cover. You got a shield right in front of you. Uh, slow down a bit. Coming. Okay. Clear the room? Yep. We good? Yeah. Yep. Clear. Okay, hey, Nico, can you breach this door in front of us now? Anything for you. You guys ready? Yeah, go for right. it. Man. Go for it, Nico. Okay. Moving forward. Okay. Get those the other barricades. The bomber is behind the second one there, Gab. Yep. I'm gonna let you push up first, alright? Yeah, okay. okay I'm going. Stay back a little bit. I don't the bomber's, see bomber's He's right, 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 right there. He's right there. He's right there. I can't get him. Oh, oh, I'm down. I'm down. Do you need help? No, you. We're okay. No. We're okay. Nico, pick me up. Yeah, I got you. Here. Take this. Nice work, okay. Yeah, thanks. You're hurt, eh, man? Yeah, I'm pretty hurt. On, the hallway's pretty open, so take cover behind my shield here. Okay, we're gonna start moving up the main hall. You guys can start moving up on the left-hand side. Yeah, take your time. There's a couple of guys on the end here. Uh, there's a lot of them. Three guys. Four. Okay, I'm reloading. I'm reloading. Back down. Back down. Back down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I got him. I got him. I got him. Bruno, pick him up. Yep. Push forward. There's one guy in the console Got so One down. Two down. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. Got one. I got one. Okay, start moving up. Bruno, bag. Yep. Oh, no. Come through the wall, all right? Going hard. Okay. I see one more. Okay. I'm right behind you. Go Chris. for it. Go for it. Push up. Push up. Yeah, breaching. Okay. Take a look on the right, Nico. Yeah. Got my back. Yeah, I'm watching. All right, breaching. The room's clear. Clear. Hold on, Nico's clear on the right hand Three, side. Two, one. I think we're good. We're good. They're both down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice we got this. Yeah, good job. Let's set up here. I'll take point in the front door and check the hallway there. Uh, Mag, you see to your left there, there's a wall? Yep. Can you make a couple holes for me there? Sure. I'll keep an eye on the back stairs. Okay. So I'm gonna drop the diffuser right behind you. Yeah, I got it covered. We gotta hold it for a minute. Yeah, we got this. Let's do it, guys. Okay, I'm behind you, Gab. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna create an opening here. There you go. Waiting room, waiting room. Right now? Yeah. Yep. Don't yeah. stand up, don't stand up. Be careful with the windows, guys. Another one, another one. Okay. 45 seconds left. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Yeah. I'm gonna take a look at the stairs real quick. One in the hallway. I got one coming back stairs. Yeah, one coming another back one. stairs. Another one, another one in the hallway. Watch the left. I got, uh, charge, charge mind you, guys. Charge mind you. I'm coming, I'm coming. Waiting, I'm down, guys. I'm taking you spot. Yeah. There's two guys yeah. back there. Don't move, don't move. Don't move. Not moving. Okay, okay. Check. Get back up. I got it. I got it. He's oh, coming in the back yeah. windows. Back windows. Nah, They're in the back windows covered. It's okay. 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 Yeah, I got you, Nico. All right. Hold up. I got the hallway. 15 seconds, guys. Keep Wait. it up. Wait. Keep it up. Windows again. Appointment. Back there. Stay there, guys. Don't move. Back there. Appointment. Back there. Yeah. 
Step over the diffuser. Five seconds. Five seconds. Nice work. Hold it on, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Down. I'm down. Nice work, guys. We got this. Yeah. Go ahead to the other ball. Nice Good job. work. Yeah. Now. Well done, guys. You did it this time, huh? <laughs> All right, thank you very much for this. What you just saw was one out of our four Terror Hunt modes that we'll have in Rainbow Six Siege, including Terror Hunt Classic. For those of you who are here in LA, we invite you to come to our booth to get a first hands-on experience of Terror Hunt, as well as try our new PvP mode and map. And for everybody else back at home, we got something for you as well. We are glad to announce that our beta starts on September 24th. It will be available on all platforms, and you'll be able to play both PvP and Tero Hunt. Thank you, everyone, so much, and have a great show. Geneviève Fonger, give it up for her and the Rainbow Six Siege team for that live demo. Um, I actually watched those guys play that in rehearsal and they lost, so just so you know, that's real gameplay. That's the first time I've seen them win. <laughs> I was like, oh, I kind of want them to lose again. I first fell in love with gaming, I think like most old people like me did, loitering around in arcades. As a kid, my two best friends were named Defender and Tempest. I occasionally kicked it with Cubert. These were beautiful friendships based on a solid foundation of quarters. And while arcades are mostly gone now, that style of gameplay is alive and well, as evidenced by Trackmania Turbo. This year, Trackmania is finally making the leap from PC to new-gen consoles, and it's bringing its thriving community of customizable maps along with it. Take a look. Everybody, please give it up for Tommy Francois and Francois Allo. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Bonjour. That trailer was cut from gameplay footage and track replay. What you see is what you get. Now, let's put our money where our mouth is and show you the game. Francois, make yourself at home and pick your favorite track. We all know that's 117. The other cars you see on screen are ghosts of the best time. Now play. Nope. Wow! 
one, give it up for Francois, yep. gold medal. <laughs> All right, the scope of track main to turbo is pretty impressive. 10 more tracks in stadium just for the Blue Series. Four environments, four different gameplays, five difficulty levels. A total of 200 tracks. And if you think that's not enough, take a look at this magic. Our track builder mode generates levels on the fly at the press of one button. It's random, so we have no idea what we're going to drive. Three steps to it. Terraforming, look at the pretty beaches and islands, then the track being built, and finally, signage. Infinite tracks you can immediately play. Let's see how well you do, Francois. And be careful, it's tricky. Easier to win an Academy Award than playing Live 83, yeah. man? Yeah, funny. <laughs> Restart is immediate. Go. By the way, this is a completely new environment, especially made for Trackmania Turbo. It's called Roller Coaster Lagoon. We also have a brand new take on multiplayer modes, but for that, come beat times on the arcade machines on the booth. And if you're crazy enough, come play the VR demo at the show. Thank you. Arigato deimas. Danke schön. Cheche. Gracias. Merci. Spasiba. All right, give it up for Tommy and Francois. Clearly multilingual. Our next game has it all. A global, yeah, yes, I understand. Our next game has it all. A global conspiracy, multiple covert murders, and leaps from unreasonable heights with absolutely no physical repercussion whatsoever. Shine up your blades and lace up your greaves. This is Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Stops. Come on, look lively, Rooks.
I'll let you take it from here, lads. Try the bitter. Who's it? It's actually quite drinkable. Go on, toast your noble boss. This thief of children. Or you could do better. Join me. Join the Rooks. Go get him! Split the money. I mean, just, just take it all. I... Rooks with me. I'm going with the rooks. Come on, I'll oh, soon enough. Hello, everybody. Thank you. My name is Marc-Alex Cicote, and I'm the creative director on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Our game takes place in London in 1868, right in the middle of the Industrial Revolution. This pivotal moment in humanity's history has allowed us to create the first modern Assassin's Creed game. Together with their street gang, our two assassins, the twins Jacob and Evie Fry, will fight to take London out of the hands of the greedy and the corrupt in order to give the city back to its people. We have a brand new gameplay demo to show you at the Ubisoft booth. But this year, we are letting you play the game here at E3 and on console. If you're not one of the lucky few to be able to make it to the Ubisoft boot, well, we're excited to give our fans the chance to play the game at the Uplay Lounge here in LA and get this in seven cities across Europe and Australia. So, cool. So, if you want to start playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate starting tomorrow, just sign up at assassinscreed.com for your chance to take back London. Thank you, and have a great E3. Nice. All right. That, my friends, was awesome. Incredible PC in that game that you guys are going to be able to experience out on the floor and around the world. And I think that's pretty much it. Ah, except for this one last thing. Everybody put them together one more time for Ubisoft CEO, Eve Guillemot. We like to surprise you with new IPs, but really, we really like to surprise you with revolutionizing our beloved franchises. And this has been done by a group in Paris, a very good group that is working in secrecy and he has been able to create some things and I'm sure you will enjoy because it is so good. So, have a look. Most of us fear death. But for the Santa Blanca drug cartel, death is a saint. They embrace her, praise her. Worshipper. They kill thousands without repercussions. Trafficking poison across South America. Corroding governments. How do you fight an enemy that doesn't fear death? Maybe you hunt them from the clouds.
position. They're loading up the cocaine. Got eyes on White Hat. You can't fight the friction! Cocaine is on the move. Cocaine is on the move. Targets are pulling out! Or you fight from the shadows. Attack when they least expect. Pick them apart. Leave no evidence behind. Lost. Nine o'clock. All right, we're clear. Careful now. White hat is in You can unleash chaos. Strike from every side. Confuse them. Destroy everything. Decide who lives and who dies. How do you fight an enemy that doesn't fear death? You manipulate them from the inside. Until the monsters wipe each other out. insane, immersive, cinematic, open-world gameplay that you come to Ubisoft for. I know you felt that all in your bones. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our show. Thank you so much for coming out today. Thanks to everybody watching at home. Stay tuned for the live post show. We're going to chat with all of today's speakers. If you're in Los Angeles, check out our booth and the Uplay Lounge to see Ghost Recon in action. And if you're not in LA, check out Ubisoft.com for exclusive E3 insider access. Be sure to join our social media conversation by using the hashtag UBE3. We want to hear from you, and we mean it no matter how painful or crappy your tweets. My name is Aisha Tyler. This is Ubisoft. Play on! Yeah.